sir. Thank you, Bruce. And Armbro Plato is up fast and going right on out for the lead. Doc Shawbet is off stride along the inside. Famously out well to be in second. And Buttafuoco will drop into the three hole. First time under the wire. John Campbell has Westgate victory along the inside in fourth. Sand Chaser eased away in fifth. Red Crossing is sixth. And back down trotting with the distance trailer at the first turn is Doc Shawbet. Armbro Plato, as expected. Ray Schnitker has this one relaxing on the lead. The quarter was a brisk 27 and 2. And Armbro Plato looks well within himself as he moves over to the Woodbine backstretch in Toronto. Along the inside, second is Famously and Buttafuoco, two more lengths in third. Looking at it from fourth is Westgate Victory and following up in fifth, San Chaser Red Crossing is sixth and Doc's Shawbet is about 15 lengths trailing in seventh. Armbro Plato all the show on the way to the half. Famously is trying his best to keep tabs from second. On the inside, third, Buttafuoco. Two more lengths, Westgate Victory is fourth, 56 and four halftime. The track record for three-year-old trotters is 155 flat, so Armbro Plato is on a tempo to take a challenge to that. Maybe he's leading it into the final turn. Famously is closed up in second, but a Fuko now moved out from third and is making a bold move on the final turn. On the inside fourth is Westgate Victory. Red Crossing is up to fifth on the outside. Sand Chaser is sixth. Doc Shabet is out of it. Here's three quarters, and Armbro Plato again rewidens to three lengths. 126 and two, the three-quarter time. That was 29 and three in the third split and Armbro Plato brings it into the stretch in the second division of the Colonial Trot famously reclaimed second but a Fuko now back in third starting up on the outside is Red Crossing upset minded on the outside is famously and he's collared and overtaken Armbro Plato and Red Crossing on the far outside Red Crossing and famously to the finish famously and Brian Allen score ahead decision finishing second Red Crossing Westgate victory snuck in for third 156 and 4 and a shocking upset famously well over 20 to 1 and Bruce and Gary what do you think of that huge upset so a shocker here at Woodbine racetrack famously only a second start of the year at 23 to 1 upsets Armbro Plato and we mentioned the success that Marvin Manheimer has had this year. And only two for seven last year. Now two for two this year. Had earned only $8,400 and now shocks Armbro Plato, who had won four straight. So you never know in this game. 23 to one with famously terrific name. What a great mile. Thank you, Karen. He went a real well, did real well tonight. How did he seem to like the 7 eighths mile track? Uh, he liked it a lot. I think the big track really helps him. And uh, he... Really, you know, the long stretch leaving out of there, you know, after Vernon last week, he was a little aggressive at the gate, and we took advantage of that. Was it your strategy to try to leave out and get the trip behind Armbro Plato? Well, you kind of, you know, he's going to probably roll out of there, raise Colton, and, and uh, it's if you consider a two-hole trip to him, he's going to carry you a long way. And hopefully, you know, you have enough horse to go by him, and he, he was real good tonight. You're just urging him on slightly, and away he goes. Yeah, he responded really well, you know, like I was just being a little careful with him in the turns because he's a real big horse and he's just kind of finding himself. And uh, so we just kind of played her easy in the turns a little bit and uh, he really dug in down the lane. Thank you very much for joining me, Brian. Thank you. Okay. Brian Allen, the seven-time leading driver at Vernon Downs. And he comes to Canada and he shocks Armbro Plato. The tote board is lit up. $48, 11.20 and 3.80 for famously Red